some people have their groceries delivered. Some people can afford it. <laughs> Especially when the elevator's out of order. Well, that, of course, I arranged on purpose. I'll get my keys. Oh, no, no. Let me get mine. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, practically no trouble at all. Oh. He must have tripped. Yeah, knocked him out cold. We better get him into our apartment. Here, grab his feet. Thanks. I'm all right now. You better take it easy. That was a pretty nasty fall you had. I hope you don't have accidents like that very often. This wasn't an accident. What do you mean? Somebody hit me from behind at the top of the stairs. Are you sure? Yes. Things like this have been happening lately. Somebody's trying to kill me. Well, have you any idea who? No. You think I'm crazy, don't you? But it's true. Have you been to the police? That wouldn't do any good. They don't even laugh at me because I haven't any proof. We have a friend at police headquarters, Lieutenant Wigan. Maybe if you talk to that him... That wouldn't do any good. There isn't any proof. Tommy! Tommy! What is it? What happened? I fell downstairs, Aunt Laura. <gasps> Are you all right? Yes. Mr. and Mrs. North brought me in. Oh, thank you very much. He was unconscious. He thinks somebody pushed him. How frightful. Oh, you poor boy. We just moved in yesterday. Yes, Tommy told us. Well, if you're all right, we'd better get upstairs to the apartment and phone your Uncle Paul. My brother is expecting Tommy to meet him for dinner. You can call from here if you like. Well, thank you very much, but I think I'd better get him upstairs. Oh, I'm terribly grateful to you both. Yes, thanks very much. No, not at all. Now, don't hesitate to call us if there's anything we can do. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, I forgot my bag. Good night. Good night. Well, what do you make of that? The what? Now, Jerry, you heard him say himself that... That somebody wanted to kill him? Oh, look, darling. Mental institutions are crowded with people who think that somebody's trying to kill them. And you don't believe him, huh? Well, how should I know? Never saw him before in my life. That aunt of his, did you notice her clothes? No, not particularly. Uh, what was wrong with them? Wrong? They were all right. They must have cost a fortune. <laughs> clothes is what's in them. Just the same. It doesn't hurt to have something nice on outside. Okay, get yourself a new dress tomorrow. Uh, anything up to ten bucks. Oh, thank you, Mr. North. Oh, <laughs> don't mention it. Hey, what's for dinner? It's in the bag. Oh, that reminds me. I want to show you something I bought today. It's the newest thing. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter? Well, she must have picked up my bag by mistake. Who? Miss Clarkson. Oh, she'll bring it back. Jerry, it's exactly like mine. <laughs> One of those exclusive models, huh? Well, that's what the man said. anything. Yeah. Is he 
still breathing? Yes, but I don't know for how long. Oh, I wish Bill would get here. Maybe I ought to loosen his collar. Oh, don't touch him. Bill said not to. Jerry, where is he? Uh, back of the couch, Bill. Jerry, maybe he was right after all. Who? About what? That somebody was trying to kill him. Yeah, they sure came close. H how is he? Bad. Say, what do you two know about him? Nothing except what I told you on the phone. Can't you introduce her to some nice, quiet people that nothing ever happens to? I'm afraid to. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, we better get him to the hospital in a hurry. Get them down to emergency fast, boys, and I'll check there later. What's going on here? Oh, Miss Clark. Oh, Who? Tommy. Tommy, oh, Tommy. Uh, they're taking him to the hospital. Oh, I must go with him. There's nothing you can do right now. Who are you? Police, Lieutenant Wigan. You're Tommy's aunt? Yes. Oh, Tommy. Tommy. Okay, boys. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Myron Sedgwick. I'm attorney for Miss Clarkson. I'm terribly sorry, Laura, but he'll be all right. Poor Tommy. Any idea how this could have happened? No. What... what did happen? Looks like somebody tried to kill him. That's what he told us. He was afraid... But that's impossible. Nothing's impossible, Miss Clarkson. Well, everybody sit down while I give this place the once-over. Oh, fine, dear. And we just might break down and have some cake with our coffee. Uh, Bill might have cake with his coffee. You're having milk. Milk? Now, Jerry, you've been complaining about not sleeping at night. And so I got something special today that you put in milk. Not arsenic, I hope. Uh, no, this is something new. One tablespoon, and you sleep like a baby, it says here. Oof. That should do it. Oh, and so you won't feel that you're taking something from a drugstore. They give you this cute little container to put it in. You use the powder just as though it were uh, sugar. Drowso. <laughs> the man who invented that name must have been full of it. <laughs> How about the cake, Bill? No, thanks, Pam. Just the coffee. Say, Pam, tell me, did Miss Clarkson mention her brother, Tommy's uncle? Well, only that Tommy was going to have dinner with him tonight. She said they were going to call him. Then she'll know where Clarkson is. Who do you think he had anything to do with it? His own uncle? Well, we had the case of an uncle once who killed his whole family, including two cats and a pet canary. Oh, Bill. No, that's a fact. You know, it's too bad, Pam, you didn't see that man's face, the one that sneaked out of the apartment. He must have been the killer. Yeah, probably. Say, which reminds me, I better call the hospital and find out if this has developed into a murder charge yet. What do you mean? Well, he may be dead by this time. Oh, Jerry, don't say that. Well, this is Lieutenant Wigan of Homicide. Yes, give me emergency, please. What's the report on the Clarkson case? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Thanks. He's still alive. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, but they don't give him much hope. He's in an oxygen tent now. Well, thanks for the coffee. I'll be seeing you. Night, Bill. Night. Let us know what happens. Blow by blow. Good night, North. <laughs> Good night, Bill. Well, he certainly doesn't have much to go on. Oh, you'll figure it out. Okay, I'm heading for bed. See what I mean? <laughs> Coming? Yes, darling. Oh, no. No. What's the matter? In all the excitement, I forgot my bag. Oh, great. Well, we'll get it tomorrow. No, there's something I want to show you, Winnie. I'll run up and get it right now. Oh, no, you don't. If anybody gets it, I will. Seems I'm the only person around here who can go out in the world and come back all in one piece. I will get the bag. Thanks, darling. You're sweet. <laughs> and careful. <laughs> What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, my wife forgot her bag. It's black and sort of... Just a minute. Oh, thanks very much. Sorry to disturb you.
got it. Well, thank goodness. Boy, that lawyer certainly acted strange. Well, lawyers always do. Your pajamas are all laid out. Mm. Hey, you better have your initials put on it. It's a good idea. Jerry! Huh? Hey, where'd you get that? You got the wrong bag. Oh, fine. Why would she be carrying a gun in her bag? Yeah, Bill Wagon will want to know that, too. We better call him right away. I'm so sleepy I couldn't even dial a phone. Morning won't be time enough. I don't know about you, but I'm going to bed. Jerry, I have a theory. Huh? Tell it to me in bed. Yes, sir. Even if I can't hear it. The Clarkson, anything else? I don't know what more I can tell you, Mr. Tennant. You were supposed to have dinner with your nephew tonight, weren't you? Yes, but Laura called me in and told me about his fall. Then what did you do? I had dinner with a client. I'm an insurance broker. Then went to see him off at the airport. So then you didn't hear about your nephew until later? That's right. As soon as I heard, I went right down to the hospital. Fond of your nephew? Of course. And your sister? I don't think that's any of... My business? Maybe not. When there's an attempt made on a man's life, Mr. Clarkson, the police become quite curious about a lot of things. I suppose so. But there isn't anything more I can tell you. I see. That's all for now. Thank you. I've got to get right over to the hospital right away. Ed. Yes? Clarkson's on his way out. Put a tail on him. Okay, Lieutenant. tablespoon or one teaspoon. I don't care. I'm going to call Bill. yourself on a simple glass of milk is more than I can understand. <sighs> Hello, police headquarters. Uh, Lieutenant Wigan, please. Uh, Lieutenant Bill Wigan, homicide. Oh, he's not there? Have you any idea when you'll be back? You haven't. 
Has he gone home for the night? Nobody ever goes home for the night in homicide. Well, I, I see, thank you. Uh, please leave word that Mrs. North called. Mrs. Gerald North. Yes, this is Pam. Oh, you do? Well, uh, just please give Lieutenant Wigan the message. We all know you, Pam. you ever answer anything. And I answer the front door, the back door, and the phone. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't break the door down. Hey, what's the matter with you people? I telephoned you five times and nearly kicked down the door. I thought you said you couldn't sleep at night. Pam, Bill's here. Oh, she sleeps sounder than I do. Bill, she's gone. And I have a hunch where she is, at the hospital with Miss Clarkson and the boy. we do without oxygen at a time like this. You'll be all right as long as he gets the oxygen. Yes? I'd like to see Tommy Clarkson. Clarkson? Oh, yes. 2034. I'm sorry, but that's a critical case. No visitors allowed. Oh, but I must see him. It's very important. Sorry. But it's a matter of life and death. I'm sure it is. Is he alone? Well, as far as I know, I just came on duty. Oh, oh, but that's dangerous, his being alone. You see, he's afraid that somebody's trying to kill him. Well, from this report, somebody almost succeeded. Uh, could I go in for, for just a minute to see if he's all right? Look, lady, it says no visitors. Those are orders. Emergency hospital. Myron, what are you doing? It's almost midnight. We've got to work fast. No, Myron, you can't. Have I got to remind you what's going to happen if he lives to see his mother? Myron, I won't let you. I, I don't care. Well, I do. The minute they turn the estate over to him, he'll find out that you've been embezzling his money with my help. 
They're in too deep, Laura. And so am I. This is the only way for both of us. Yes, Doctor. Yes. Yes, once every hour. Yes. Yes, I understand, Doctor. Very well, Doctor. gave orders to that effect. How is he? he? Well, we're not sure yet. I'm surprised they let you in. Oh, I just had to see him. I sneaked in without anyone seeing me. I hope you don't mind. No, but there's nothing you can do, Mrs. North. Is the oxygen helping him? <laughs> Mr. Sedgwick, you're standing on the hose. Oh, I hadn't realized it. <laughs> Oh, there they are. I'm sure he'll be all right. He isn't getting any oxygen. You're deliberately standing on the hose. You're... Oh. I wouldn't try to get out, Mrs. North. He was right. You're trying to kill him. It's too bad you found that out. Because now I'm afraid we'll have to do the same to you. You wouldn't. I... Why not, Mrs. North? You told me yourself no one saw you come in. Oh, no. No, Myron, you don't know what you're doing. Myron, you are you not you and Tom. Counselor, any time you're ready. Well, who was the man I saw in Laura's apartment? Oh, that was Clarkson. He admitted that to us when we picked him up at the airport tonight. The airport? You mean he was trying to make a getaway? Well, we figured he would. That's why we had him pretty well covered. You mean he tried to kill Tommy? Oh, no, no, no. He came in after Sedgwick had already made the attempt. And then when he saw Tommy lying there, he was afraid he'd be accused, so he got out as fast as he could. Why? If he was innocent. He found out that his sister was dipping her fingers into the million and a half with the aid of Sedgwick. And you think he'd try and protect his nephew? Well, he confessed to me tonight that he was suspicious of the two and was afraid that he'd get the same treatment. Oh, I wish that phone call would come through from headquarters. I want to go home and get some shut-eye. I guess we could all use a little sleep. Mm. Except Jerry, he's had enough for a week. Must have been last week. Yeah, so it come through from headquarters. Oh, uh, you'd be happy to know that young Clarkson's gonna pull through okay. Directed by Ralph Francis Murphy. A John W. Loveton production. Produced by Federal Telefilms. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. Featuring Francis DeSales. This has been a film presentation.